On air and online, we're more than just news. We're also highlighting the solutions, that taking on big ideas to get to the heart of problems and build towards solutions. And tomorrow, of course, is Earth Day. Our latest episode of Solutionaries has to do with keeping one of the biggest things Florida is known for clean. And we can't forget about our precious wildlife, too. News 6 Insider Guide Krista Moyer is here now with a preview. Yes, ladies, the next episode of Solutionaries is called A Trashy Problem. While trash continues to be an issue in different ways across the country, News 6 investigative reporter Eric Sandoval is focusing on our beaches. Now, some Central Florida beaches are seeing a rise in junk, and that's just getting out of control. It not only ruins a beautiful landscape for our neighbors and visitors, it affects wildlife. Trash like plastic and other items that don't break down end up getting swept into the ocean and mistaken for food. It's been a huge problem. People at the Marine Science Center say they're battling. Eric takes us to their turtle rehab center and shows us what they deal with on a daily basis due to the amount of trash left on our coast. These guys are out in the seaweed line um, eating uh, crabs and small animals, but uh -huh. they will unfortunately ingest this plastic as well. Um, and same thing with um, if they're eating seagrass or anything on the bottom of the ocean, you get that plastic down there as well. So all of this actually came from one turtle. So unfortunately, we do see this a lot with these guys. Um, and I don't know if you can tell, but it's actually really hard plastics. Mm -hmm. So the problem with that is if it's going through his gut, it's actually going to cause lacerations yeah. um, and issues with his gut as well. That has to be heartbreaking to see. It's really hard, um, especially when we've worked with a patient so long, and mm -hmm. then unfortunately, um, if they pass away due to plastic ingestion, or um, if we find it later on, it's it's really tough for us. This is one of the favorites. All sea turtles at a certain stage of their life will eat jellyfish, mm -hmm. and then you're diving down again, and you're going down for another jellyfish, but showing them that it looks like a jellyfish. It's a grocery bag. Right. So this is oftentimes what they'll eat. And uh, you so can good. actually see in the water, this is what it looks like in the water. It just looks like a jellyfish. So sea turtles will often eat that. Gosh, yeah, and a Brevard County nonprofit is using a new tool to try to get some of those smaller pieces of trash off the beach. This 900 pound robot was donated to keep Brevard beautiful. The robot has a sifter, you know, picking up debris like cigarette butts and plastics you see there. Gosh, while it's a good part of the solution, the robot can't pick up microplastics that end up in the ocean. And volunteers say beach visitors will notice the robot, maybe start a conversation conversation about litter and marine debris so it's also helping to get the word out. We went viral right when everything the lockdown and everything ended. This beach was getting just absolutely abused because that's all anyone could do is go to the beach and we're talking 25 tons a weekend. You're kidding. No we had the city had to get extra roll-offs all throughout um, you know every stub in street we had roll-offs and we were just filling them up almost daily and it was the worst we ever saw it. A lot of the big trash, the bulk trash, is what our crews pick up on a daily basis. But sometimes the wind will blow stuff out of cans, sometimes people just leave it on the sand, and that's where this comes in. If we can pick it up before it ends up in the water and starts to break down and become a true microplastic, then that's where this thing is gonna come in handy. Bottom line, y'all, pick up your trash. Come on now. <laughs> I've heard the saying, take only photos, leave only footprints on the beach. And I feel like we all need to pay more attention to the effects we're causing by leaving filth on the beach when we visit. You can catch Eric's investigative story tomorrow starting at 5 p.m. right here on News 6. Our new Solutionaries, a trashy problem combines investigative stories from our sister stations across the country, including Eric's story, and that full episode drops Saturday, ladies. I felt that, Crystal, and I think, you know, you grew up near the beach, yeah. and, and anyone who loves the beach, if you really love it, you take care of it, right? right? And so when you go out there and you see people leave trash, it's heartbreaking. The, the poor turtles mm. thinking that the trash bags are jellyfish, mm -hmm. but come on. It reminds me of that viral video of that sea turtle and the straw in its nose. Yeah. I know people have seen that before and so Eric's just diving deeper into the the local you know connection that we have the other thing that um, I've found really interesting and in, you know it's all a personal uh, kind of effort to get rid of the plastics is as a mom I have so many more plastic bags plastic yeah. containers plastic everything and if you really add it up and put it in front of yourself each day 
It's a lot. You, yeah, you look at that footprint. It's a lot. And I just think, you know, people go to the beach, which is fine. Nothing wrong with that. But, you know, people might drink. They bring bottles and glass and plastic caps. Just be aware. You know, we did find out the top three items that, that people usually find on the beach. You want to hear about them? Eric, Eric sent me this list. Cigarette butts, number one. Lids to plastic water bottles. You know, people mm -hmm. might bring water to the beach. And broken down pieces of plastic. So just keep that in mind when you go out. Mm -hmm. Just pick up, if everyone picked up their own trash, we would not have this issue. So uh, I hope you can all tune in to, to Eric's story. It's, it's really well done. And of course, Solutionaries has just been an incredible way for our, you guys, our viewers, to reach out to us and tell us what your solutions are. Then we can work with counties and, and let them know and maybe come up with a better solution altogether. It's going to cost us one way or the other. Exactly. Yeah. Thank you, Crystal.